Hey folks, thanks for tuning into the Camping Post. Today we are going to talk a little bit about some storage options that we have found that work well for us. Uh, we wanted some extra storage to have in the back for our phones, books, water, stuff that uh, we want access to while we're sleeping. So we found these little suction cup mount shower caddies that can simply mount to our existing walls. You got to make sure you got a smooth surface to mount these to, smooth and clean, so that they'll work. But as you can see here, in this one caddy, we have two eight pound weights. So we've got 16 pounds supported in this unit. Uh, these are not going anywhere. We also got the same mounts for up here in our kitchen to hold all our kitchen items like soap, oil cleaner, things of that nature. This was the old one that we had that fell down after the first trip. So that's what started this journey. Uh, we're also utilizing those same mounts to mount other items in our camper. Um, we've got these two hanging at our camp table. Um, and basically this is what we used. It's a little suction cup mount with a little coat hanger and we just throw a little towel on the other side to make sure that this doesn't bounce and scratch up the finish on the RV. Whether you're a full-time camper or a weekend warrior, storage solutions are always an essential premium uh, to find the space for all the things you need. So if you like this and you find this information useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. And in this video, we're gonna show you how we installed these units. Thanks for watching and happy camping. So we just got our box in for these. Uh, we ordered them on Amazon. Um, we ordered two just to start out with, one a white one for the kitchen and a gray one for back in the sleeping area. This is the white one. Came with a couple extra hooks. And this is the gray one. It's got two hooks to mount the basket. In this bag is a total of five hooks, three for the basket and two extra hooks for doing whatever you want with. Feels pretty lightweight and sturdy enough uh, to hold all our kitchen supplies. Now to check out the gray one. Looks like it comes with uh, two hooks. You can see this one's gray, but I don't really feel like it's a pure gray. It's a little towards the blue side of the spectrum, uh, but I think it'll blend in nicely with the uh, rest of the accessories we have in our sold on Rover. And these are the two hooks that came with that. So let's go ahead and put this one up in the kitchen. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye to our target version, which wouldn't stay adhered to the wall. A couple of these other suction cup packages we bought came with these little picks to pop off the suction cups from the wall. And we're gonna just take some vinegar cleaner, clean off the wall vinegar and a paper towel, just wipe it down, make sure it's clean, there's no debris on the wall. And here's what the mounts look like. Suction cup on the back. A little spot to push on the front. Now these all came with uh, a hook that uh, you can easily remove. Um, so you can use them as hooks or you can use them with the basket. All you do is take the hooks off 
and then slide them over the little slot on the back of the basket. Pretty easy to do. I'm gonna use all three. Supposedly these hold five pounds each, so that'll hold plenty of weight. So the back of the suction mounts have a little plastic cover on them just to keep them clean uh, in transit. So you just peel those off, throw them away. For some reason that middle cover was a little hard to take off. I think it was just, it had been cold and got stuck on the suction mount. Now that we got all three of the protective covers off, I'm, there's a little diagram of a hand on the front of each of these, so I'm, I'm turning them all to the top so they'll look uniform once we mount it on the wall. Now I'm just trying to get an idea of where I'm gonna actually mount this above the sink. And once I was temporarily mounting this, I realized that uh, I was gonna need to level this so that it that it looked right so I'm popping that middle mount off I'm gonna throw the little level in here so I can make sure I get this mounted evenly on the wall now once I get this level all I need to do is on the face of those suction mounts is just apply a little pressure and uh, those will stick right to that that smooth surface now for all you Intech Soul owners out there, this wall on the shell of the bathroom is a great place for these suction cup mounts. It's nice and smooth and these easily stick to that surface. So now we got a great secure space to put all of our kitchen accessories for when we're cooking and uh, washing dishes when we go camping. Now to the back area where we typically sleep. We wanted to have some places to store our phone, books, water bottles, or whatever for easy access when we're sleeping or just hanging out in the front of the camper near that panor panoramic window that comes in the Intex sold on. And what we really like about these suction cup mount products is there are no screws involved, so we don't have to make any penetrations uh, into the materials in the walls. And these are easy to remove and install somewhere else in the camper. Now we're simply following the same process that we used installing the suction mount basket in the kitchen uh, as we are for this one in the back. This one just happens to only have two mounting points. Once again, I'm gonna use my level to make sure I get this mounted evenly on the wall. And I'm making sure all the hands are facing the same direction. I'm gonna line this up and then apply a little pressure. Make sure it's level, apply some more pressure, and we are done. And these baskets are easily going to support the weight of any items that we put in there. That's pretty much it. Now we've got our baskets installed in the front and the back. We're probably gonna order maybe one or two more of these for other places in the uh, camper here. Um, and we're done. Don't forget to 